let's uh, take to the board over here and uh, let's see. I believe we have a geometry question here. Uh, now, this is kind of an interesting question. Um, it says, what is the measure of angle B in the following figure if angle A measures 135 degrees? And you can uh, see right here, we got a little, uh, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see there, but a little diagram right there uh, with angle B and A. So uh, what, what, uh, what is the measure of angle B in the following figure if angle A measures 135 degrees? Yeah, that sounds like one for me. Mm -hmm. um, this is something we're actually doing in geometry now. This is typically kind of at the beginning of semester one, but they, we add some algebra in there. Um, so let's see what we got here. We got a measure of the angle A, and we're calling this angle B. We said that we know angle A. So I'm going to write up here angle A equals 135 degrees. And I'm looking for angle B. So that equals question mark. Um, so the first thing that you should notice, and they actually give this to you on this figure, so that's kind of helpful, um, is that it says 180 degrees and 0 degrees. This isn't typically given. Um, you should know, if I were to pull out, let's, let me see if I can pull this away, if that's even possible. Um, no, I don't think it is. Um, so if you were to ignore this line right here, um, you would see that you end up just having this straight line going across. Let me just draw that separately really quick. Um, if you were to measure this at the protractor, it's always going to be 180 degrees. Or you'll also see it sometimes referred to as zero degrees. But if you think about uh, a circle, a circle has a total of a 360 degrees. So if I start here and went all the way around, well, this right here is going to be 360 degrees. So if you take a look at this line, um, you would know that half of that circle would end up being 180. So anytime you see that straight line, you should be thinking 180, especially if this is kind of what you're working on in geometry. Um, so here's what we know. Look, if I know that this line down here that I'm highlighting in yellow is 180 degrees, what you should also notice is that we're kind of sharing this yellow line to create these other two angles. So kind of putting them together, they should combine to be 180 degrees. Um, so when we look at this, we're really saying that angle A right here plus angle B is going to add up to 180 degrees. So we can set up an algebraic expression for that, or an algebraic equation. Um, I really encourage my students to get in the habit of writing these equations, especially as you get started into this with the algebra and geometry. Um, a lot of my students will be able to do this in their head, or they will be able to just say, oh, it's 180 minus 135, which is great, but it really is helpful to get the practice of writing equations that relate um, different pieces in a geometric figure. Um, because as it gets harder, that's something you want to be doing like automatically and not thinking about too much. Um, otherwise, you tend to miss other key concepts and maybe you don't see other things in a figure. So I like to write this out as angle A, this is what I know, plus angle B, we just said has to add up to 180 degrees. So then we come back and we say, okay, what information did I have? Well, it was given to us that angle A is 135 degrees. We don't know angle B. So all I'm going to do is take this measurement and I'm going to replace it. Um, because we know these are the same, we can substitute. And I'm going to say 135 degrees plus angle B equals 180 degrees. And then from there, we're just going to solve algebraically. We're going to treat this angle B right here as a variable, um, because it is. Uh, so we're going to subtract 135 degrees from both sides. And these cancel out, and we end up with angle B equals 45 degrees. So again, think about the relationship that is given to you kind of in the figure, and then think about how you can write an equation to represent that relationship. Mm -hmm. um, that's really going to help you down the line when you're doing things that are more complicated, just getting fluid and, uh, and really prepared with that strategy. Yeah, trust your math teachers. They, uh, they're not just making you write the equations just to be mean. Sometimes. They just know what's coming. <laughs>
they just know what's coming next yeah. and that being in the habit of that is going to be very helpful. Yeah. So I agree with that one. Students fight me on that and I'm like, I'm not being mean, I, know. I promise. You have, to, you have to force them yeah. and they don't thank you later because they don't realize that it helps. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true.